Hello, my friends of Hatari Labs. My name is Omotoya. Please have a great day. Today, we are going to do a tutorial about how to do um, the hydrological modeling of, a, of an Andean base with HEC-HMS. This is a tutorial similar to other tutorials that we have posted, but um, this tutorial is mostly related that you will get into the different method of HEC-HMS. And this is the base for the next tutorial that we will have on optimis or model optimization. Okay, so first of all, we start our HKHMS. Cool. Then, what else do we do here? Uh, we create a new file, new. Uh, here, I strongly suggest that you use your document folder and then here, like I have done a folder that all my document that is called HKHMS tutorials. And here the folder name is Ejemplo and Gascancha. This is actually where the files that are there there are some files for this for this tutorial that are in close attached on the description. So please review the description of this video and you will see the, the files. Okay, so I, I select this and I put select here. Nothing else. It will be ejemplo de. Okay. Great. Okay. Then we go to component, basic model manager, new. We create a new queen that is called Cuenca. Cuenca is based in Spanish. So. Cool. Then we have our first Cuenca. Okay, and it appears a canvas here. Okay, then we add a two background maps. So we go to view, we go to background maps, and then here on add, there are in the folder that we gave you, so documents, tutorials, here is where you have downloaded and extracted this folder, and there are some check files here. This is actually the, the project that, and here you have, let's say, Rios, and then Angascancha Basin Extension. Cool. Then we have Rios and Angascancha Basin Extension. Okay, that's great. What else do we have? We are going to create uh, two basins. So we are going, with this is the basin. So we are in a Cuenca Alta, so it's the Higher Basin. Cuenca Alta. And this is Cuenca Baja. Mm -hmm. Great, and then we have a sink, or this is the discharge of the basin that is called Punto B. And what else do we have? Uh, what else do we, we have a reach? There, there is a reach in between this part and this part. And this is tramo uno. Cool, and then we make the connection. So with this, I say, Cuenca Alta, what is on string of Cuenca Alta is tramo uno. What is below of Cuenca Baja is the punto B, okay? And what is below downstream of tramo 1 is punto B, okay? So with this, you have your whole, you see? Yep. We have connected. Okay, so we are going to provide the hydrological values for the... So we go to Cuenca Alta. The area of Cuenca Alta is 160 kilometers. We're going to use this as number, unit graph and recession. Cool, that's great. So we go to loss and then we go to 41, 55, 0, 0. I strongly recommend that you use 
period as a comma separator instead of commas because it's, it's more standard and then you have less trouble, in my opinion. Okay, we have 200 as the lag time and on the base flow we have 30. 0.9, this is a parameter for the base flow, okay, 0.25. Cool, that's great, yep. Then we go to Cuenca Baja, and on Cuenca Baja, we as well put on subbasin of Cuenca Baja, punto B, ah no, Cuenca, oh, sorry. My mistake, those, I made, I made a mistake. This is actually Cuenca Alta, so I made a mistake. I, I set the values in the wrong basin. So that's 160, yeah, it's rotation, loss. This is 41, this is 55, this is zero. This is lag time 200. On base flow, this is 30.9.25. Yeah, okay. And for Cuenca Baja, this is 53. 53. Yeah, SSS, hydrograph recession. Um, on the loss, this is 68 millimeters, 43, 43, 00 as impermeable, transfer 120, so the lag time is lower, and on the base flow is 21, 0.95, 0.3. Cool. Okay, so you have values for Cuenca Alta and for Cuenca Baja. Okay, that's great. Then on the tramo 1, we are going to use masking gun. Okay, and the tramo is not gaining and not losing any water. Okay, and then the masking gun parameters are 1, 0 0.2, and sub reaches, let's say, 5. So six, five, seven, okay. Cool, so we save it, okay. Then we go to components, we go to basic model manager, to, no, we go to time series data manager, and then we are going to, pre, to put a precipitation gauge, that is called estación uno. Yeah, and here, precipitation gauge, is manual entry incremental millimeters every hour. Okay, here you define the hour. Okay, that's great. So, and our simulation time is the 1st of January at 0000 to the 1st of January at 8. Okay, please remember this. You have, this is related to the format value of your date. So if you are in English date form from the US or so on, you will have January, so on. So please keep in remind this. This is strictly related to the format of your date. Okay? Cool. And so then we go to table and on the table, since we have from zero to eight, so we will have eight spaces. So Seven, twenty-five, eighteen, thirty-five, twenty-three, twenty-eight, two, and six. This is our, this is our storm. Okay, cool. Then we create another one that is called. Okay, station two, so we go components, time series data manager, and we create a new one that is called station two. Okay, here, and this is as well from the every hour time window is to the 1st of January at 
8. Okay, it's every hour at 8. Okay, and here we have 8 values that we have. That is 4, that is 26, that is 14, that is 30, that is 18, that is 25, that is 3, and that is 4, okay? Here we have, and then the graph is this one. Cool, that's great. So we create a new meteorological manager, components, meteorological manager. New met one is okay. I like to, uh, to see this, it's more order, I mean, I, for more order for me, just to minimize this, okay? And then I have my meteorological man, and on my meteorological man, is this is a specified yetogram, yeah, and replace missing is set to the false, otherwise, uh, if it's fit, it, it, if some value is missing, it will replace with zero. Well, with zero because you have set zero as default. Okay. Uh, the unix system is metric. Please remember this. And then on basins, we we say includes basins. Yes, because we want to include the basins. And then on specify etogram, we say that the cuenca alta is related to estación 1 and the cuenca baja is related to estación 2. That's great. And then on control specification manager, yeah, we set that component, control specification manager, we create a new control, it's control one, control specification manager, it will go from, and this is, I mean, if you are wondering, I mean, here on time series data, you can pick this, because this is, this is the, actually the format of your data, and then you just can drop this, okay, and this has to be different for your computer, most, and I think so, yeah, so this is, will be for the 1st of January, we go in Spanish is Enero, at 20. If you remember, our storm is last only 8 hours, but we are going to simulate 20 hours, that's why we are going to simulate, I mean, the storm and the, the, the labs after the storm, because we want to see what has happened after the storm, and this is of one hour. Cool, that's great. And this is that will that that will frame the period. The this will frame the this will frame the the simulation period. Okay, we create a component, create compute, simulation run. We create a run one, next, Cuenca, met one, control one, cool, that's great. And then here, I have my run, so I compute it, and I say, hey, everything is going okay, that's right, that's great. So, and then results, what we have, at the result, so this is which is the peak discharge of Cuenca Alta, which is the peak discharge of Cuenca Baja, okay, and which is the peak discharge at the discharge of the basin. So this, if you zoom this plus this, it actually don't give this because this is a different hour, okay? So we can have the hydrograms of the first, of the, high basin of the Cuenca Alta. So this is the precipitation, the, on red are the losses, these are the transformation, the base flow. You can play around with the, you can play around with the, with this data, yeah? Because, uh, um, you can, I mean, you can play around with this data in order to, uh, to, to, if you have a better feeling of what is the base flow. Yeah. And on Cuenca Baja as well, 
yes, you can play around with this data if you have a better feeling of what is the base flow. Yep, and then on tramo 1, we see how the how the inflows from the Cuenca Alta goes and what is going out. Okay, that's right. And on punto B, we see which is the inflow from Cuenca Baja, which is the inflow from Cuenca Alta, and what is the mix in between those inflows. Okay. Cool, that's great. Great, that's great. Okay. Cool. And I'm going to save it. And there is a coming tutorial where we are going to do, um, um, there is a coming tutorial where we are going to do uh, optimization manager, optimization. Uh, we are going to do optimization, what is called here, on compute uh, optimization trial manager. So, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. And you will have the input data for this tutorial on the description of this video. My name is Saul Montoya. I actually come from Hatari Labs. What is Hatari Labs? Hatari Labs is a blog dedicated to knowledge sharing on open source software in water resources. So we have a lot of tutorials and this, um, the coming tutorials, maybe we are going to do seven tutorials on HEC-HMS. Yeah, so you will have a good documentation if you are doing your master thesis, you are doing re your research or something like that. Uh, it will be much fun to that you follow these tutorials. It are based on what we have seen on the website, on the web. Uh, it's the best. This is the is. It has to be a good reference. Besides the tutorials and manuals made by the by the heck the U.S. military. Corps of Engineers. Okay, you can subscribe to our newsletter here. You can drop your email and you will receive a newsletter twice per week. And as well, what else? Uh, we have some webinars, coming webinars, and as well, we have some courses as well. Okay, so in this course, uh, on the future, we will have courses. Right now, we have webinars. You, If you have a question for us, you can drop us a contact form and then we will answer. Um, I mean, we don't do the, your homework, but we can we can answer what what we can if there is a short question or something like that. So, and then you can follow us by Facebook and Twitter. Okay, so please have a great day, and I hope to see you in an, in the coming tutorial of the uh, trial of the optimization simulation. Okay, great. See you. Bye bye.